Brother Billy, you know, last time, well, just a little while ago, it doesn't matter. This is part two of what I was talking about before, about the whole war thing. See, a lot of things have changed since I was a child, as they say. Now, one of the things that's changed is uh, the nature of journalism. Missy and I, I understand I have an undergraduate degree in communications and all that stuff. And I, I'm supposed to be, I, I guess I am a journalist, but I'm not really a journalist because I do other things in media. But, you know, if I were a journalist, which I did at one time and I didn't like it, I wouldn't be the journalist that they have today. Because, see, a journalist, he's with journalists. First of all, let me tell you what they do today. You got some guy, say he's the spokesman for the whoever, the, 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 the political party or the corporations or whatever have you. And so they say they want to have a big announcement. They want journalists, they want to be covered by the press, journalists. So the guy comes out there and the journalists come with their microphones and they put it up in front of his face and, or her face and the person says something and then they run back and they type up what they said. That's journalism. <laughs> now, in the olden days, somebody could have a say they're going to say something. They might send some little junior guy to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Now, but then they would bring it back and then they say, hey, let's look at this stuff. The guy said this, the guy said that, the woman said this, the woman said that. They did a little, little book they call investigation on what was said. It wasn't just go there and type of what they, you know. Then you say, wait a second, they said this, but look what's really happening. Put it, put it into that whole kind of thing. That's journalism. Versus being a, I don't know what this is, secretary mouthpiece extension of the whatever. Well, there's the problem with war. We don't know what war is. Because nobody reports on what war is. Like, I'm not talking about the causes or what's happening in the field, how many people are dying, but what, is, what, it, what, what it really is. What's money? Money is just a way of saying, like, hey, I'm going to use to, uh, for my labor, I can get some stuff for some money, and then I can get this money to, you know, to do something else to, to, to basically somebody else's labor produced, and, you know, this money runs around like that. Now, nah, wait a second. But sometimes they take this money and they wrap it up into something and they burn it. They call it a bomb. Well, they, I don't know what they call it. I call it a bomb when they roll up a lot of money and burn it. You know, we talked about this before. Well, hmm, that's kind of strange. That's not the proper use of money. To burn it up. They said, but you bought a bomb for this place. Like, you know, but the bomb is a, the bomb is, is, a, is burning. <laughs> so it's not really doing anything. It's not, in fact, it's destroying. It's not given to the, you see? So we don't talk about that. So here's my idea. Why don't we combine the two? Let's take the money out of war. Ain't no, no money, no war. I mean, no money, no bombs. You, know, no, you see what I'm saying? And no matter what the person says, because remember, somebody's talking about a corporation, they go there because they want to separate you from your money. So, back, back to money. Now, they say, wait a second, but you need a nation to do all this thing, no pay rules. And I say, well, I understand that. Mm -hmm. But that's not my problem. My problem is we ain't going to have no nation if we keep on doing what we're doing. So what do we do? Here we go. There's a thing on the horizon. I'm going to tell you way ahead of time. It's going to take a few years. Now, remember we talked about Bitcoin or in crypto, crypt, in cryptology and, you know, the crypto coins and stuff like that. And personified with Bitcoin. But it's based on what we call a blockchain. The blockchain is something that's transparent. So you can see what everybody is doing with their money. You say, but I must be able to do it. So I, then, hey, that's the way it goes. You can see the transactions, the contracts, as they say. You see? So if I lent you some money through the blockchain, they can see that I lent you some money through the blockchain. You may not want that, but that's the way it is. It's the new kind of thing. Well, at the same time, if, I can, if you can see what I'm doing, giving you money, they can see that if I spend this money on a bomb, you see? So that's the way that works. So that's what we're saying. We're saying if you want to stop war, then all you got to do is stop the money. Create a new monetary system. That's where the blockchain comes in. That's what we call, it's a thing called, here we go, I'm going to drop it on you now. Bit Nation. It's a nation 
I would say a virtual nation, which is a nation with people that agree with this kind of thing. So if they all go to cryptocurrency, that can also be transferred to other currency, they become this part of this nation. It doesn't matter what nation you're in, it doesn't really matter because now your money is about the nation, the block, the bit nation. So your money's not going into that. Those nations, they go into war. I know it's kind of complicated, but we're going to work this out because that's the only way we know to fight war. Take the money out of war. No, that's just an idea. It's just a dispatch. Dispatch from them. From me, that, that would be the arts director emeritus. That's me, T, for the past. Take the strangers. But letting you know what I only suspect. So this is part two of the war thing. Yeah.